In this video, we'll demonstrate several important functions of assembly modeling in BricsCAD. First, we'll show you how to create a mechanical product from imported geometry. Let's insert an ACES file into our drawing. This model of an industrial robot was created in SOLIDWORKS and then was exported to a .sat file, which we have just imported in BricsCAD. The imported geometry consists of several solid bodies. Move the different parts of the model by selecting them and using the Move command. Color the parts in different colors to make them distinguishable. Convert the model into a mechanical component by using the BM Mech command. Create a subcomponent and insert it in the current top level component. The selected entities will be saved as separate .dwg files. Repeat the same for the six different components of our robot. Once a subcomponent is created, it appears in the mechanical browser. The mechanical browser visualizes the hierarchy of nested components. In our case, it is the main robot component with six sub-components. Now apply 3D constraints between the components. 3D constraints allow you to position components in 3D space towards each other. Start with a fixed constraint for the base component. This locks the position of the component. Next, create a concentric constraint between the two cylindrical faces of the base and platform components. Add a coincidence constraint between the two planar faces of the same components. Once the constraints are added, they force the components to move to a new position, where the corresponding faces are cocentric and coplanar. We are adding the same constraints between the other components that should be joined together. Now that your robot has been assembled, you can simulate its motion. You can rotate one component towards other one using the rotate command in the quad. The command requires us to input the rotation axis. Drag the component using the mouse and see its motion in real time. Now let's use our robot for its main purpose and import a car door component. To link the door with the robot's head, we use 3D constraints. If you move the door, you see how the robot follows its movement. What we are seeing now is called inverse kinematics of a mechanism. This is a typical inverse problem. We know the result, how our door should be moved, but we don't know how to obtain this result how the robot should move its platform, shoulder, arm, hand, and head to reach the desired position for the door. BricsCAD is able to solve this inverse kinematic problem in real time. Our robot has five degrees of freedom, and all of them are used to find the position for the door. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.